What's up, YouTubers? This is Odat86. Today is May 29th. It is a raspberry pretzel cream cheese jello. Raspberry pretzel jello. Some of the ingredients are cane sugar, raspberries, strawberries, pretzels, jello, cream cheese, and we will show you a little bit. Or not too much. So just a little blend. Two cups blended. Two cups blended pretzels. But we're making four, so we're gonna do it a few times. Four trays this size. 12 inch by nine by two inch aluminum pans. So half a cup is a whole stick. Okay. And we're gonna melt it. In the microwave? Yep. Okay. So we have chopped pretzels so far and melted butter. Okay, what are you doing here with the melted oh, I'm butter? Oh, I'm gonna get a tablespoon. Does this involve the oven? Oops, yep. Really? So before you start, Preheat the oven to 350. Okay. Cool. And three tablespoons of sugar. So a cube of butter and three tablespoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. Melted, Melted oh. butter. And it's being stirred. What's mama doing, Sai Sai? Mixing. And then two cups of pretzels. Two cups of blended pretzel. Hold on, baby. Hold on, honey. Wait, wait for mama. Mm -hmm. Patient. Patient. Thank you. Oh, you want to help too? Oh, thank you. Are you helping? Yes. Okay, patience. Sit on your butt. Sit down. What do you need to have? Patience? Say patience. <laughs> Let me check because that doesn't look as much. I think it's four cups. Two cups. No. I guess we're having a little bit more sugar little, in that one. Add a little extra okay. sugar. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You can help me on the next one. You have to have patience. Okay, hey, so what are we doing here? Put that mixture. The mixture of pretzels, butter, and sugar into the pan. Spread it all around. Bam. I didn't know that's how you did this. Now what is this? This is like the... The crust. The crust, there you go. Buttery, sugary Just a little crust. bit, Sai. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Okay, and then you're gonna bake it for 10 minutes. At 350 degrees, 10 minutes. Okay, what are we doing now? We're defrosting some of that. We're softening. Softening some cream cheese? Cream cheese. In the microwave. Okay. But you can only do it if you have a kick-ass microwave. Okay. Which this is a Whirlpool stainless steel. Soften melt. Damn. You got a setting that's called soften melt? Yeah. Jesus. You can choose. You just... What is the boiling water for? It's oh, for the jello, huh? Jello. Okay, what are we doing now with the jello? One raspberry and one strawberry. Flavored. Mm -hmm. And you'll have the water boiling. So since we're making two different kinds, it's an eight ounce. That's Six the huge ounce. box. Six ounce. Six ounce. So this is strawberry and this is raspberry. And then you'll put one cup of boiling water. Okay. Sounds like we're done over here on the microwave. Yeah. Okay, so you're adding sugar. One cup of sugar. 
and you're gonna mix it up really, really, really good. What's this process called? Folding it in? No, we're gonna fold in the whipped cream. Oh, the whipped cream. Okay. So this is a mixture of sh one cup of sugar and one bar of softened cream cheese. Mix it up till it's all smooth. Silky smooth. It's looking pretty good. And then fold in um, eight ounces of Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Okay, so now that the crust is done, explain what's going to happen next. You have to make sure you cool it all the way. Okay, so it's so cool. This super cool. Sort of like when you're making a bundt cake and you're drizzling frosting on it. You don't mm -hmm. want it to be hot so it melts. Yeah. Okay. So it's way important that you just take a little bit and you really smear it into the edges. Ooh. Because if you don't have the edges sealed, then the jello seeps down in and your cake is ruined. Okay, so this is like a barrier. Mm -hmm. This is like a crust barrier. And it's better just to take little by little instead of dumping it all around because then the pretzels start to fold up. Okay, so that mixture of one cube of cream cheese and a cup of sugar that's just for one cake? Uh-huh. Okay. So you're really coating the sides. Mm-hmm. That's impermeable barrier. And you don't you wanna make sure you have enough on it and not go over that without having it full or else they'll fold up. Okay. So go easy on it in the beginning. Kind of. Sweet. Damn, that looks delicious. It smells good. Raspberry pretzel salad. That's what it, the popular name would be, I think. It looks yum. And, and it didn't get pretty it, even. Pretty even? Pretty okay. Even. And so we will be using fresh strawberries and fresh raspberries. You can use frozen, but I like fresh. Okay, so no frozen, fresh. Got it. Okay, so the jello is still very hot and in liquid form. You are strawberries on. spreading strawberries on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pour the jello on top. Ooh. Evenly, or it doesn't matter. It gets pretty even on its own. Liquid seeks its own level. Yeah. That looks heavy. Damn, that looks good. Ooh wee. And then refrigerate it overnight. It takes how long for it to set? Four hours, maybe. But by the time you wake up in the morning, it's all ready. Ready to roll. Okay, so the one that we did before was the strawberry one. This one is raspberry. Raspberry. Look at all those little tiny nuggets of goodness. Tell us what you were saying if you know that it got in there set right. If this starts seeping down and you don't have a lot of juice on top, you haven't sealed it right. So because that's not sinking, that meant that you covered all the sides evenly. That's the most important part of this dessert. Sealing it so that the jello doesn't seep through yep. into the pretzel crust. Yes. Awesome. All right, folks, here it is. The finished product. Chilling. How long is it gonna be in there for? Overnight, but you can do it for like four hours. Sweet.